Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study inches and half inches. Over here on my paper, this line here, the first one here, is one inch. One inch long line. And then below it is a half inch long line. Okay? And then these ones here, those two half inches, so together you can see it is as long as one inch. Two half inches makes one inch. I'm going to write it here too. One inch. Now over here, here's one inch, one inch, and a half inch. Okay? So there's two whole inches and then a half inch. Two and a half inches, and we write it like this. Two, and then the half looks like that, and then you can write the inches. The last one here has lots of half inches. Okay, so how are we going to figure that one out? How long is it in total? Well, you know, two half inches would make one inch, right? So I would have one inch, and then another inch, another inch, another inch. So I have, in total, four inches, right? And now we're going to measure some things and also draw a line using a ruler. You probably have this kind of a ruler that measures in inches, but it has lots of little lines here, over here, as you can see. So it might be a little difficult to measure with it if you're just studying inches and half inches. So what you can do is you can print out or just put the paper here, tape a paper on top of your ruler and then mark on the paper just the whole inches and the half inches. As you can see here, we have the zero inch mark here, then half inch and one inch and then there's two and three and four and five and six inches and in between each two whole inches there's the half point. So this one, for example, is the mark for one and a half inches. Over here from here to here is one and a half inches. And then from here to here would be two and a half inches and so on. So we're going to use this ruler now to measure in this lesson. First of all, let's measure this pencil. Remember, I need to line up this end of the pencil with the zero mark, okay? And we can see that the pencil is between three and three and a half inches long. It is about three and a half inches long, okay? And now, let's measure this marker pen, nice pink marker pen. That one is closest to the five and a half inch mark, so it is about five, of a, five and a half inches long. Is that messy? Okay, draw a pretty line. Yes, how long will I draw it? Eight and a half inches. Okay, I'm gonna now draw a line that's eight and a half inches, like Matty told me. So I need to go somewhere here. You see here, in my ruler where the paper doesn't reach, Here's the 8 inch mark and here's the 9 inch mark and halfway between them, this, this line that is a little longer than the others around it, is the half inch mark. So 8.5 inches is up to that line there. Okay, I need to hold the ruler down tight with my one hand. Start at zero here. Here we go. Over there. Does it look, does it look good, Matthew? Sure does. Okay, now let's estimate how long this clothespin is. What do you think, Matty? How long is it in inches? Oh, three inches? Let me think. I'm going to guess three and a half. Now we're going to measure. Okay, we were both wrong. It is almost four inches long. Lastly, Matty, I have a surprise for you and for you too. Look at this pretty picture. All kinds of birds. An alligator. So we're gonna measure how wide it is and then how long or wide it is this way across too. The whole puzzle. Okay, again I need to line up my zero mark with the edge of the puzzle, not with the edge of the ruler like this. This is wrong. But with the zero mark here. Over here we go. Okay, you see it's not eight inches wide. It's not seven inches wide, it's in between. 
Can you see the mark that is exactly for seven and a half inches here where my finger is? It is closest to that mark if we are measuring to the nearest half inch. So it is about seven and a half inches this way. And then this way. Line up the edge with the zero mark. And then we go over here. Oops. We go over here. It's not exactly any amount of inches again between six and seven inches and over here is my six and a half inch mark it is closest to that so about six and a half inches across this way okay we're all done with this lesson